hi friends i welcome you to the next video on uh, bills of exchange in this video we'll learn how to calculate the due dates okay now there are three ways in which the bills can be drawn that is bills payable after the date bills payable after site bills payable at site or on demand now what is bills payable after date let us say the bill says three months after date. Now, what does this mean? This means that the duration of the bill will start from date of drawing of the bill by the drawer, the date on which the bill was drawn by the drawer. On that date, the duration of the bill will start. That means the meter will start on that date. Bills payable after sight. Let us say example. It says three months after sight. Then in such case, the duration will start from the date of acceptance by the drawee. So the date on which the drawee writes the word accepted on the bill of exchange on the day when the drawee signs the bill accepts the bill from that day the meter will start or from that day the duration will start bills payable at site or on demand that means whenever the drawee is asked by the drawer to make the payment whenever the drawer demands whenever the drawer shows the bill to the drawee and say please make the payment to me the drawee has to make the payment to him okay so as soon as the drawer demands payment, the drawer is bound to make the payment. So there is as such nothing called as a duration in this type of a bill of exchange. Okay. Now, grace days. How do you calculate grace days? We have to add three days of grace. Okay. To arrive at the due date. Now, if due date is a public holiday as per the NI Act. Now, what is a due date? We will take the bill date plus the duration plus grace days we will arrive at the due date if due date is a public holiday as per the ni act then in such case the preceding date will become the due date okay now saturdays sometimes the saturdays sundays or sundays are public holidays as per the ni act so negotiable instrument act and negotiable instrument act the government will declare in advance the public holidays so on these holidays if the bill falls due for payment in such cases the bill has to be honored on the preceding day that means the previous day itself you have to make the payment you cannot say that today is all day i will make the payment tomorrow that cannot be the case if the due date is a sudden holiday then it is next working day okay so if the due date let us say we have drawn a bill the bill was accepted by the drawee but suddenly the due date is declared as a holiday after the bill has been drawn the due date becomes a holiday the government notifies it as a holiday under the ni act in such case the next working day will be considered as the due date okay not all saturdays are public holidays only those days only those days it may be a saturday it may be a sunday only those days which are declared as public holidays under the ni act for the purpose of NI Act will be considered as public holidays for this purpose and preceding date will become the date on which the bill has to be honored. If due date is a sudden holiday or subsequently declared as a public holiday then the next working day will become the due date. Okay. Let us take some examples to understand these rules. Let us say the date of drawing of the bill is 1st April 2021 date on which the drawee accepts the bill is on 2nd April 21. The bill is drawn first. The bill is payable three months after the date. Now what is the due date? How do you calculate the due date? Three months after the date. So I'll start with 1st April because it says after the date means from the date of drawing 1st April 2021 from there the, the duration will start 3 months time so it will become 1st of July 2021 plus 3 days of grace 
it will become 4th July 2021 okay if if 4th July 2021 is a public holiday under the under the negotiable instrument act it is not a sudden holiday that means even on the day when the bill was drawn we knew that 4th July was a public holiday then 3rd July will become the due date of the bill if 4th July is suddenly declared as a holiday then 5th July will become the due date if public holiday then 3rd July will be the due date if sudden holiday that means subsequently it has been declared as a holiday then 5th July if it is the working day that will be the due date of the bill okay so this is how we calculate let us take one more example payable 3 months after sight no it says 3 months after sight that means from the date of acceptance so we have to now start with date of acceptance 2nd april 21 plus 3 months time so this will become 2nd july 2021 plus 3 days of grace this is day this is also days so 3 days of grace this will become 5th july 2021 if it is public holiday that means on the date of drawing of the bill itself we know that this this date is going to be a holiday then 4th july will be the due date if it is suddenly or subsequently declared as a holiday then 6th july if it is the next working day then this will be the due date of the bill if 6th july is a public holiday then 7th july that is the next working day will become the due date of the bill okay now it says payable on demand then in such cases whenever the drawer demands the bill has to be honored by the drawee okay now let us take one more example here payable 30 days after the date how do you calculate the due date if it is payable 30 days after the date now we have to again start from the due date this is the same fact for which i am taking various situations here okay same problem i'm just changing the situations first april 2021 was the date of drawing of the bill i am saying 30 days now i have to add 30 days to first in the case of april i have only 20 30 days in the month of april so by 30th april 29 days is consumed so in such cases i have to allow one more day that means on 1st may 2021 the bill will become due for payment okay plus 3 days of grace that means 4th of may 2021 the bill will become due for payment that will be the due date okay then payable 30 days after sight so how do we calculate the due date now first 2nd april was the date of acceptance plus 30 days we have to grant so this 30 days will be completed on 2nd may 2021 plus 3 days of grace 5th of may 2021 will be the due date okay so these are fundamental rules for calculating the due dates in our next video we will learn few more illustrations and we'll see some more examples on calculation of the due dates thank you